Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Android app development for beginners and in this video we will see the basic overview of an Android app. So in the last video we have successfully created our first Android Hello World application and we would be able to run or we were able to run our first Android app on an Android emulator. Now for the first time when you see an Android app project it will look like this but what is what in this project for example this screen you see here is called an activity and the formal definition of an activity is an activity is a single focused is a single focused thing that the user can do or in its simple terms you can say an activity is a screen which user interact with and an android app can contain many activities in itself now where are these activities stored so when you go to your project overview here you can see three categories one is the project itself is the broad project overview and this is what are the files and folders your project can contain right so it can contain the ide files your app files gradle files and other files which your android studio needs to compile them the second overview when you go to the project overview is the package and these are the packages your app is using when you created your app but the most important while developing your android app is android category itself and this is where all you are you know programming both files are there and this sign of this activities are now this activity is just over uh, you but behind this there is an xml file so when you go to your app and inside this app there is a folder called res or res folder and inside this res folder there are some folders like tribal which contains some png files and your main activity or activity file is this one which is activity underscore main.xml file other files are menu files which we will see later and the next category is value category that also we will see later but right now the main important design xml file is this one so for the xml file behind this screen is this main activity file or main activity xml file so you can click or you can open this xml file by clicking this text category here so this is your design category of your activity and when you click here in the text it will open an xml file and this xml file is the main you know xml file which is responsible for the design of your android right android activity so what we can do is we can go to the design and we can delete this for now for example this one so you just select this and delete this and then what you can do is you can drag and drop these palette widgets in your activity so there are so many widgets in here layouts text fields and other desirable tools so you can drag and drop these tools and design your activity for example i can just drag and drop from these widgets the large text here and in here just double click it and you can just write anything here for example welcome to android okay 
and then this will be displayed here and this android studio assist you to align your widgets or tools in your activity so you will be able to see this message here right now once i have done that there is a text view and add, added to my xml file and you see i have written this text on my text view which is welcome to android and this is automatically added to your xml file also right i can edit it my xml file and it can be added to, to this view also for example i write flex sumro youtube and it will be added to your activity here so you can add this from here also text and from here also you can add more properties to your text view for example you can go to the design and you can change these properties from here so there are so many properties for example i want to change the background color of my this text view so i can just select this then go to the properties and search for the property called background it is responsible for the background color of your property and go to the color and here i can choose any color of my text view for example green i will click choose my color and here is the result of the color when i go to the text area it is the same background color which was a color we chose we have chosen right the other thing is you can even change the color of your background color or properties of your main activity screen which is this one or layout you can just go to the background and just choose the color and choose any other color for example this blue color okay and it changes to the blue color now this is just a design part of your android app but the main brain or you can say main you know actions are taken in the folder called java and in here there is a java class or java file called main activity just open this and this is the class which is responsible for all the main actions of your app so for example you go to your main activity and you add some button here and you click this button all the code for clicking this button and whatever action will take while clicking this button will be written here so this is just a java class which extends or inherits the action bar activity class so this is our class which android studio have created for us and it extends so if you don't have much experience in java programming i will recommend you to learn the java programming tutorials from the internet you will be able to understand what this extend means but simply this is the inheriting part from this class and in here there are some already pre created methods which android studio have created for us for the first time so that our app can launch okay and these codes will see in the further videos what is the meaning of all these codes behind so that we will understand more about what they are doing okay but this is the mean you know main logic of your android app where you will write the logic of your android app okay so this is the basic overview of an android app or uh, there is one more interesting folder in this app called manifest and this is and this contains the file called android manifest.xml and this contains all the activity of activities of your android app so for example our android app right now contains only one activity which is this one 
and so this activity is you know here but your android app can contain more than one activity then there can be something like one activity below this second activity below this third activity and so on right so here is the main launcher you can say of your app so for the first time whenever you launch your application how will your android app knows that which activity should appear if your android app can contain many activities and which activity to launch first this is decided by this xml file for example this activity this app only have a one activity and this is the basic logic which tells your app that this is our main activity and we need to la launch this activity whenever we launch our app so all the activity mapping will be here in this folder and other properties of your app will be here also for example your packages and packages information or other information related to your app will be here so your app name and styles and other things right so here all the activities you know listing will be here so this is the basic overview of your android app i hope you have enjoyed this video if so then rate comment and subscribe our channel